Grant Woods had a humble upbringing. His mom was an educator and constantly stressed the value of excelling academically. His father was a construction worker. From my dad, I, you know, I learned a lot of things, probably most of the positive things that I, that I know. You need to do the right thing. And so he did. He's just that kind of person that um, you know, really stands for um, what he means and he, and he, and he takes action. And he's, he'll always be there, he's consistent. When I ran for office in 1990 for Attorney General, I, I was running a Republican primary and uh, I was for the Martin Luther King holiday and the party was against it. I was against the English only initiative, they were for it. So this was really nothing new to anyone who was paying attention. And uh, in this particular area, um, I had stepped in when we had something similar in the mid-90s called the Chandler Roundup. And even though it probably wasn't my jurisdiction, I, I uh, definitely stuck my nose into that one and, uh, and we stopped it. Another issue would come to test the strength of his convictions. Early in the debate, he was clear on his position on SB 1070. We have kids who are growing up in an environment that is negative because um, of their Mexican heritage. It's not right and I think it's unconstitutional. So as a constitutional scholar, I had no problem in my view on that. Arizona and the country were consumed by the contentious piece of legislation. For Grant, the stakes were high to come out publicly against SB 1070. As co-chairman of Governor Brewer's campaign and co-chairman of Senator McCain's campaign, both of whom had, were supporting it, I, I think on the one hand that, that reflects well on them. They didn't throw me over and uh, I didn't throw them over. You know, we just disagreed on that one. Uh, but it put me in some unusual positions on the campaign trail. When I worked for Grant, um, you know, I was just a line attorney, and you know, obviously Grant was the attorney general. When you went into his office on any issue, whether it be immigration or civil rights, you never worried about what he was thinking. I know from being a native Arizonan that um, our Mexican heritage is part of what it means to be an Arizona, and um, somehow that's been perverted. Positive change is heavily laid upon the backs of leaders such as Grant Woods. You also ultimately have to be willing to stand up and pay the price uh, and realize that even if you don't succeed at the moment, or maybe ever in your lifetime, what's right is right.